I've shown off many of these models before. Actually, I think I've shown them all off. But for the sake of the video, we'll go through them again. These are my Dalton knives. I got most of these in a trade. This here is the Super Slim. This is a very light knife. Pretty thin. Very, very snappy. MTF. It's a big knife. Even with my large hand, I still got tons of room. Just a very, very large knife, a very large handle. These are the kind of knives Dalton is known for. Kind of a very tactical, self-defense kind of blades. It's the Minuteman, red, white, and blue. There are 13 divots around the pivot to represent the 13 colonies. I've got a video showing this one being sharpened. The blade has first to fight engraved on it. And the other side says Dalton USA. I got two of these, one so I could actually use, and the other one is just something I'm going to collect. It's in pristine condition, and I'm trying to keep it that way. Now this model, I've referred to as the Drifter. Looking at pictures online, I've seen this recurve with this handle, and I've seen this Warncliffe with this recurve handle. And I've seen each of them labeled as drifters and as 06 slash 1 models. So I have no idea what the actual designation is. Now when I bought my red one from PVK, it was labeled as a drifter. So whenever I pull these knives out, I'm just going to call them drifter 06 slash 1 models. This is the one I've had for a while. I've actually used it quite a bit. The edge bevel is kind of wavy. I put this edge on with the Edge Pro Apex. It was while I was still learning, so I wasn't quite used to how this thing worked and I kind of made a few mistakes. I've just never corrected it because the knife hasn't really needed to be sharpened. G10 handles. The action on this is my favorite. It's got an axis lock or an access type lock on it. There is a bar that's on a spring here. As you pull the access lock back, that bar moves backwards. And when the knife closes, that bar engages the tang and traps it between the stop pin. So that's what creates your lockup. This model has some wooden inlays. I'm not sure what kind of wood he used. They are proud of the scale a little bit. Very 90s type model. And then of course that recurved blade. This is another one that's got scales that are proud of the handle. I'm not sure what this resin material is. This is the small Persian or the Persian fighter. I'm not real sure what the exact designation is for this. Since he only made small batch runs, it's really difficult to get any information on him. I've got a sharpening video of this guy. The main grind is pretty, pretty wonky, so my bevel suffered for it. It's got some waviness going on in it. You can see down at the base it was trying to make a recurve, so that's a little bit higher or a little bit taller than the rest of the edge bevel. Z07 Militia. Very light knife for the size. This one's got a different type of 
action on it as well. So the plunge lock is actually this entire bar that's down here. Hopefully you can see that moving. And that bar is actually engaging the blade tang and stopping it or trapping it against the blade tang and the stop pin. Hopefully you can see that. Just another one of those different designs Dalton did. He was kind of known for changing things up and not keeping things the same. So this is my Dalton setup. If you guys have any questions or comments, as always, leave them below. I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a good one.